Hello everyone and welcome to Election Alternative History 2012. Tonight we have Secretary Hillary Clinton versus Governor Sarah Palin. So this would be a very interesting matchup. Um, overall there would be a lot of different votes. Um, I made a video about this before but it was in multiple elections so I want to do a more in-depth analysis. And this is 2012 so it would be the woman candidate versus the woman candidate. And since it is 2012, things are different. I didn't want to do 2016 because Palin in 2016 was not as highly regarded by the Tea Party as she is was in 2012 after the 2010 wave. So if she did decide to run in 2012, um, she could have won the nomination. Although she did make a lot of mistakes in 2008, um, the Tea Party movement backing her could have landed her the nomination, but she chose not to run. So we're going to start off in the Western Coast, and then we're going to go to the East Coast and fill in all the safe Democratic states. Um, practically the Northeast, uh, and the Rust Belt at this time period, um, except for New Hampshire, I don't want to call just yet. Um, Vermont would be blue, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, District of Columbia, Maine, all of Maine at the time, um, uh, New Mexico, Hawaii, and that's pretty much it. As for the safe Republican states going through the Red Wall, Alaska. Actually, Alaska, mm, that one's we're going to talk about in just a second. Um, that one's going to be very weird. Um, so, Nebraska, Miss, Missouri, Arkansas, I'm going to leave as a toss up. Um, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, I'm not going to touch. West Virginia, you know, Clinton could make it close, but eh, not really. Um, South Carolina, Georgia wouldn't really be a toss up at the time. But this is the current electoral map. Right now, Clinton is at 247 to Palin's 170. Um, we're going to start off with a, a super weird call. Um, Alaska, I would give to Clinton. At this moment in time, Alaska's approval rating of Sarah Palin is underwater. Um, right now, Hillary Clinton is more positively, positively viewed in Alaska than Sarah Palin is. And Sarah Palin has a really bad uh, approval rating after... Essentially, Alaska blamed her for losing the 2008 general election. So overall, I think Clinton could take that state out of spite for, for the state seeing Palin for how she was in 2006. And yeah, so we have Clinton at 250 to Palin's 170. Um, we're going to go over to the western coast. Nevada and Colorado, historically, they would go blue. Um, Clinton's approval rating was extremely high at this point and Clinton would be able to carry the state. Things have changed since then. Um, I've seen more information rather than just researching the topic itself. I've seen more information about Clinton in 2012 and Palin in 2012, so some calls may be different than before. And then we're going to go over to um, New Hampshire. New Hampshire, I think, would go to Clinton. I don't think Palin could really win up in the Northeast. Um, same thing with Ohio. I think the Obama vote would really turn out for Clinton, um, which is the same case in Iowa giving Clinton 293 electoral votes, the white working class, the fact that Iowa was regarded as a blue state at the time, and same thing out of the state of Virginia. I think Clinton could carry that state against Palin um, based off the fact that Clinton um, would be able to turn off, Palin would turn off a lot of conservatives again. Um, she would do the same thing I guess John McCain did. And I think Arkansas with the Clinton home state factor, I think Clinton could narrowly take Arkansas, although it did drastically change to 2012 from their... Um, previous too close to call or called later on um, state. Personally, I think Palin could turn off enough um, conservatives to lose a state. In the state of Nebraska, um, I would definitely give one electoral vote to Clinton just based off the fact that Clinton would be able to appeal to them better and um, in the second congressional district at least and um, show conservatives that Palin should not be the nominee. And same thing in the state of Florida, I would give that one to Clinton. I think Clinton would be able to carry that state just based on the fact that Palin would, um, again, turn off a lot of conservatives. Same thing in the state of North Carolina and Indiana. Um, all these states, I think, would go to Hillary Clinton, giving her 200, 368 electoral votes to Palin's 170. So thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all tomorrow.